There's a company out there who has their cigars being produced by some of the best factories in the industry. Their cigars are very affordable and they do something that I can really get behind uh, with regards to how they support uh, the community. So we're going to talk about that in a moment. Stick around. Hey guys, it's Vic with High Desert Man and I'm excited to talk about this company. Um, I hope that their cigars are as good as, uh, as I'm all worked up for. The company is Regina Cigars. You've probably seen reviews already from uh, Lee Mac 912 and also from Martina Maya. And after I saw Lee Mac's review of this, uh, shout out to my bro Lee Mac. Um, I really got interested and I went and checked out the company's website and read over their cigars, read over their mission statement and kind of what they do and stuff. And I thought, I've got to get the word out on this com company. So I reached out to them and I said, hey, send me some cigars. I'd love to do a review of you guys. And, uh, and they were happy to oblige. So I just received the package today. Um, it just came in a, a box, standard shipping and stuff. Uh, but it did come with a Bovida. So they, uh, they gave me three cigars and they came in this little baggie with uh, Regina Cigars, uh, De Maria Numquam Satis. So this company is very clearly Catholic based. Um, when you look at the website, when you look at the names of the cigars, everything about this company is Catholic based. Um, and and they're faith-based. I just want to give you a quick brief of uh, their mission statement and, and what they do. So uh, their, their mission is to raise awareness and financial support for the orphans in cigar producing companies, uh, countries, cigar producing countries. It's just really, really cool. And this company definitely, uh, I mean, they've got the proof on their website uh, for donations that they've made and stuff, not as a, not as a, um, you know, look at what we've done thing, but just sort of a accountability thing. Uh, look, here is proof that we really put the money in uh, to what we say. So they support, uh, in particular, a, an orphanage in Honduras called Farm of the Child. Uh, it's a faith-based orphanage in Honduras. They currently support uh, food, Let's see. Oh, they're also currently supporting uh, food bank relief efforts for the COVID-19 uh, pandemic, which is going on. So that's very cool. And the company itself supports the financial, the annual financial and educational costs for six children at the um, Farm of the Child Orphanage. And then something else that's very near and dear to my heart, coffee. This company does coffee, which um, I wish I would have received some coffee. That would have been pretty cool to do a care to pair. Uh, so, but maybe I, I, I probably, uh, if I'm into these cigars from this company, um, then I will start supporting them and, in, you know, and by proxy supporting the orphanage as well. And, um, and I'll get some of their coffee and check it out. So they sent me three cigars. Uh, and okay, so let, let's talk about this company really has, uh, they're, they've got some factories behind them. Very, it's very cool stuff. So the one cigar they sent me, what they sent me one of each. So they t sent me two of their Honduran collection and then one of their Nicaraguan collection. If you go to their website, they've got a Miami collection, Honduran, Nicaraguas, Dominican. And then I think there were a couple other things in there. Uh, but they've got they've got actually a lot of different cigars. Um, although there is one kind of funny thing about their website. Uh, near as I can tell, all they produce is Toros, six by fifties. Everything is a six by fifty. But some of the pictures, the cigars look very odd shapes, like almost like nubs and stuff like that. I don't know if it was how the picture was taken or how the picture formatted when it was put on the website or what. 
but apparently all they make are Toros, 6x50s. So the first cigar is the Veni Sancti Spiritus. It's, it comes out of the Oscar Valadera's factory in Honduras. It has a Sumatra Especial wrapper. Uh, they don't tell us binder or filler. 6x50 Toro. $8.95 per stick. 40 bucks for a five pack. Guys, that's good pricing, man. For an Oscar Valadera cigar, come on. Which one do I want to do? I'm really kind of interested in this uh, Oscar Valadares one. So that is the Ven Veni Sancti Spiritus. I've really kind of been excited about getting these cigars and, and uh, trying them. And I better put that Bovida pack back in there. Okay, so my boys over at Cigar Medics, the humidimeter. Tom called me today. We're doing a little video for their Instagram or IGTV tomorrow. Uh, which is pretty cool, but um, I I use mine all the time. I don't show it on video all the time, but I got to thinking after my phone call with Tom today that I, I need to start talking about this thing more. This is a bomber tool, guys. It, it, Lex, listen, in your kit, you should have the humidimeter, a good lighter, a good cutter. You're ready to go. If all that stuff is contained in the s smoke chest, my gosh, what else do you need? Your beverage, your cigar, you're gonna provide those. Everything else is in the kit, booyah. It felt a little, little loose going in. 61, now we're at 60%. That's, uh, that's low, but it's not bad. Uh, I, I'll, I'll smoke that, I'll smoke 60% all day long. So the, uh, Regina Cigars, Veni Sancti Spiritus. Wow, with a closed foot, the draw is still really good. Mmm. <coughs> so I'm getting some cinnamon and some vanilla off the uh, cold draw right off the bat. Wow, I'm getting a lot of sweetness uh, off that wrapper already and uh, off the head. Not a sweetness like sweet and tip or anything, just, just a natural leafy sweetness. Pretty nice. I forgot to bring a, a drink out here. All right, so the other two cigars I got, one is uh, the Gabriel. That one comes out of the Christian Aroa factory. Habano wrapper, 6x50 Toro, $8.95 each, $39.95 for a five pack. That's a good deal, guys, on a five pack of cigars. Toros? Sumatra Especial wrapper on this cigar. Oh man, I got. Uh, let's finish. I'm boy. Is am I here? Okay. The last cigar comes from their Nicaraguan collection. The, the first two I mentioned were from their Honduran collection. This one's from their Nicaraguan collection. It is the Sponsus et Pater. Guy, uh, Regina Cigars, I'm very sorry for how I'm butchering the names of your cigars. Uh, I'm trying my best. This one comes out of the AJ Fernandez factory. It's a uh, San Andreas Maduro wrapper. Doggone. This is starting off right out of the gate. Really good. The draw is beautiful. It's got a good uh, white pepper mostly in the nose but uh, a little bit of black pepper chasing it it's got a real nice natural tobacco sweetness to it that's right at the start it fades pretty fast but but it's a really nice sweetness right out of the gate finish is kind of long it's lingering in the back of my throat right now Boy, if it smokes like this, wow. They've got a ton of information on their website. 
maybe not quite as much information on each of the cigars but I mean they're giving you the the wrapper and the factory it was created out of details about the um, uh, about their mission and their their giving and, and what they do about that and they're really trying to um, so uh, they're really trying to bring about attention uh, to the orphanages and and the children in these um, cigar producing countries that are much much less um, well off than we are right so a note about our cigars we have lovingly developed our own line of premium hand-rolled cigars that transmit the beauty of our Catholic faith in consultation with in consultation with and getting input from over 10 faithful priests we have produced perhaps one of the most unique evangelization tools you've ever seen that is true the cigar bands are themed after the five Marian dogmas Saint Joseph the Holy Family Saint Joachim and Anne Annie Anne the Archangels and in honor of traditional marriage not only are guys I butchered that I'm sorry I'm, I really apologize not only are these some of the finest quality handcrafted cigars on the market the bands act as beautiful means of evangelization since on the inside of each cigar band there is a prayer quote from a saint or some ancient Marian hymn that corresponds to the artwork on the front of the band the cigars I received uh, came with these three um, these three cards and it says prayer to the Holy Spirit the next one is the Saint Raphael the Archangel uh, and then this uh, last one is the uh, Novena prayer to Saint Joseph and uh, this one goes with the San Andreas wrapper thank God they're not doing skulls all right I've got to get my computer ready for the call with uh, Cigar Medics tomorrow. Uh, we're doing it on Zoom. I've been seeing Zoom in the news a lot lately. There was a real funny video going around at work uh, uh, about Zoom. Um, so we're doing a Zoom video tomorrow, which should be kind of cool. And Zoom supports Linux. They have a Linux client. That is very cool. So I'm going to load that client on my uh, computer here and get ready for my call. And I think I'm going to enjoy this cigar, guys, because so far, this thing is bomber. All right, we'll talk to you in a bit. Stick around. Hey, everyone. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to uh, finish this review. Uh, the wife is calling me in. I've got to uh, go attend to some things. However, I am going to uh, finish my cigar out in the backyard. But um, uh, I did get the band off that sticker came off pretty easily it did tear on one side but came off the other side very nicely and uh, uh, these are really nice uh, labels nice uh, nice paper to them and stuff and they've got a uh, little prayer on the back there uh, real quick wrap up wrap up on what I've had so far uh, by the way I want to give a shout out to my boys uh, Bob the cigar guy and <coughs> chief Ch chief talk is on right now They've got Jeff Borschwitz and Bobby Newman on. Very, very cool stuff. Um, good guys, man. Just good guys. Good Christian brothers. Guys, all I can say about this cigar is it's good. It is really good. Draw, burn, perfect. Um, the construction on it is absolutely beautiful. All those uh, are getting fives in my rating. The body probably get a um, uh, four because it's a little lighter body than I like, but it is a very nice, a very nice body. It's got it's got some creaminess to it that's that's kind of deceitful. It's uh, or deceptive, I should say. It's um, you don't the creaminess doesn't jump out at you, but after a little bit, you kind of notice. Hey, it's kind of creamy. Uh, cinnamon, uh, and I am getting that vanilla still on there. There's a really good natural sweetness to this. Smooth on the retrohale. 
Uh, the price is a five for sure. Um, let's see, price uh, and transition. Well, I can't talk about transition because uh, I've, um, I've really only had one transition so far. Um, it's been nice. Not a very, this is a good beginner smoke, I think. Um, it might be a little powerful for uh, a beginner, but it's, it's pretty decent, um, you know, mild to medium cigar. at this point and um, when I just went and put my animals away I'm really excited to get into these other two cigars and um, and I'm going to buy some cigars from these guys I would love to support and, um, and and in fact I will probably even try to support that orphanage a little bit um, my wife and I do a lot of that uh, we support a lot of um, out of country uh, missions and, and stuff like that. And um, this is something I can get behind for sure. All right, I will be reviewing the other two cigars at some point, but uh, that's it for now, guys. Sorry I had to kind of wrap it up. The wife called me, she, there was a miscommunication between us and she didn't realize I was out here for as long as I am. And uh, so that's it. But uh, go check out reginacigars.com Check them out on Instagram and Facebook. Um, and if you happen to have some Regina cigars or you order some, I'm already recommending that you guys go order. It's for a great cause. They're supporting stuff. Their cigars are at a great price. So far, the this cigar is fantastic. $8.95. How can you go wrong? It's a bomber, guys. And uh, until the next one, stay rugged.